games coming up, so let's jump right to them. This is IB Strafen and FMB Monster. We got New England versus New England, so Strafing is going to be the home team, and Monster will be the away team. And this is a huge matchup. This is number 13 versus number 20 with an opportunity to make it to the round of 16. Sirius Mo is already there. Problem Child is already there. Drini is already there, Adam. So we got 13 more spots available to fill to see who's going to be here playing tomorrow for 25 grand in the belt. Are we not allowed to say Sweet 16? Is that is that copyright infringement or something like that? You can say whatever you want. I mean, when... No, I'm just asking. I don't want to sell a T-shirt about it or anything <laughs> like that. I'm just trying to say if we could do it. And I'm here. I'm, I'm actually fascinated when we have these two, where you have Patriots on Patriots, because I always enjoy to see the, the different way these players found ways to use the different the different personnel out there and who's going to take advantage of what, where one guy will run Cordero Patterson out of the backfield. We saw another player running him out of the slot. So I'm always interested to see that chess match, and I think this is going to be a good one. Yeah, like we've seen with the Chiefs, some people will have Kelsey out there every play. Don't even and, get me started so on that again. <laughs> I, I wanted to find that young man. I wasn't, I wasn't. And here goes Patterson out to cut you off at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line, so a big gain to open the game for F&B Monster, who uh, both of these guys, I'll be honest, both of these guys have been really successful. So sit back and relax, because this is going to be a really good ball game between two Titans here in the world of Madden. White now oh. through the shadows. The stadium annoys me, by the way. I'm well, sorry. Is that a hot take? No, that's not a hot take uh, for I mean, sure because uh, Strafen is from Minnesota. Okay. He's the home team. So he's giving a little nod, yep. a little wink to, to, to his Viking brethren. To his fraudulent But he's Vikings. not going to play. He's not going to play with Minnesota. I'm still mad at Harrison Smith, so I'm, I'm not going to be very effusive I went in my to Harrison praise. Smith's house, and he Did was you? signing things for – you know, underprivileged kids and kids in the hospital. So let's just take all that back. It's a sports rivalry. <laughs> I'm not saying anything against him as a person or as a human no, being. Most but of I these think guys are incredible guys. Well, no, yeah, he he really is. I and mean, you see him, you see uh, again what you said, the, the and off it, the field stuff. And it's and, and one of our favorite players, if not, uh, I know he's my very favorite player of all time, Walter Payton. Yes, of course. Um, you know, a lot of these guys that wear that Walter Payton patch on their uniform. It's huge. That's that's almost as big as the MVP. And some people would say bigger. I would say it's absolutely bigger. I, I think that anybody who's had the honor and privilege of having that patch on their on their chest, you know, we see Drew Brees wear it a lot. You know, that means a lot to them. And I think that uh, it's a huge it's a huge honor. So now in the red zone here, third and one. Of course, Walter Payton was a part of the Thanksgiving promo. Uh, for Madden Ultimate Team. They announced Dick Buckus yesterday as Zero Chill drops this weekend. Already out there in packs. Get your hands on a Dick Buckus. Uh, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna cause, some, cause some problems uh, with that man in the middle, especially against the running game. Absolutely, yeah. Obviously, you know, the great tradition of linebackers there with the Chicago Bears is James White carries the ball right there. You know, it goes back. It's funny because you can identify you know, different. Well, who's where are you? Where well, are you? Who's from? your best? Well, see, mine. See, I'm a I'm an Urlacher guy because that's Ooh, age appropriate. I'm a Singletary guy. That's an age appropriate thing for me. And of course, my dad's a Buckus guy. And I'm a Singletary guy. So we. And then one of my uncles is a. Uh, who was the other guy? Not Bill George. Is it Bill George? I think he's another one. Like it's just funny the way that, that the like before the TV era. Probably, yeah. Like one of the, maybe even my before grandfather. Before video. My Third grandfather, and seven here. who was living in Joliet and was able to watch TV, you know, for an hour a week, given his living conditions. So, you know, it's different generations. And, you know, my son will probably grow up as a Khalil Mack fan. So, you know, it'll just continue to carry on down the line. Third and seven here. Monster trying to get to the edge and strafing. Living up to his name there with a great stop there at the seven yard line, fourth and five. And I think we're going to see the field goal unit here. So if you're strafing, you walk away thinking, hey, I gave up some big plays. I gave up a lot of yards. But when it came to the red zone, able to get the stop. Yeah, classic Patriots drive. You know, bend but don't break. You let those guys move in between the 20s. You just don't let them cash in for that big check. Instead, you give them the nickel. Look, I wish it was worth five points because that would make that analogy a little bit better. But you give them the three points. 
So Not settling for the three. No. Taking the three. Three to nothing with 137 to go after the long drive by Monsta. And now it's time for Strafen to get his first possession of the game. He was putting up 40 points every time out yesterday. And so we're expecting to see something out of these two guys that have been really known for some offensive power over the last couple of years of Madden. Of course, Strafing, a part of that Dot City crew. Oh, yeah. Monsta, part of FMB. That's the thing here. I mean, it, you know, a lot of these guys are, they got guys that are part of the organization, and they got part of their Madden family that, you know, they're, they're out there playing for them every time, too. Of course. Want those bragging rights between those crews. And what a huge hit. Woo. James White got absolutely blown Destroyed. up. That's a loss of two. Destroyed right there. What a great read on defense coming through, shooting the gap right there and taking him out. Ball to 38 now, Brady. All the pressure on the outside. There's Rowe. He's going to be able to get to the quarterback, and that brings up a third and 18. So a lot of pressure coming from a lot of different areas early for Monster. The question is, is can he, can he hang in there? Here on this third and 18. I'm going to think about blocking Gronk, and he will. So now he's got time. Got to let it go deep down the field. Oh. Just broken up. Yeah, if it's me and I'm and I'm playing on this Vikings turf with all the shadows, I'm furious. But that's a bit of gamemanship. No, I like it. No, yeah, yeah. That's what the whole thing about a home field advantage is supposed to be. Being in those elements that you're the most familiar with. Didn't help him on the first try. There's a three and out and a rare punt from strafing, and that's gonna give Monster the rock here at the 23-yard line with a chance to go up two scores if he can take it all the way to pay dirt here. Let's go, let's go. Just to give you a little bit of their road, Monsta was Cyrus the Virus, 18 to six in the, the last Cyrus round. The Cyrus the Virus? Conair, no, am I no, losing no. you? Well, yeah, you didn't confuse I forgot me you. on that part. I was just like, do you know him? Because I know him. I was thinking John Malkovich. No, not, played not, Cyrus. That, not that not Cyrus. That, the not virus. that Cyrus the virus. Okay. If you're going to sing some Trisha Yearwood, this is the time to do it. <laughs> Second and nine. <laughs> Look at downfield Brady and just has to throw it away with nine ticks remaining here in the first. I didn't mean to stump you with the Nick Cage movie references. You know, I've been binging a little bit. Watching all of his classics, The Rock, Con Air, basically the same movie, but that's okay. So third and nine. Big third and nine here for Monster. Got the trio to the left. And he's gonna use a timeout here. Didn't like what he saw when he came up to the line. Gonna regroup a little bit. I mean, that's the one thing with the first half timeout. I think that if you see something you don't like, you want to take a step back and do that. I think that's perfectly acceptable. I don't think that you're 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 wandering into the Andy Reid levels go, of squandering go. your timeouts. But hey, man, this is a big moment right here. You want to make sure you got the right play call against the right defense. Go, so third and nine. Of course, Strafe and beat Went Goat. Two Minnesota guys battle out to get to this spot, so. Both these guys had to beat some serious competition to get to this point. The road has not been easy for strafing or Monster. Here's a third and nine. Play clock running down. Gordon across the formation. Brady looking. Finding oh. door set and just no, overthrew just... him. Couldn't get that second foot in bounds. Those guys on the sideline need to stop applauding too, by the way. That was like, hey, see what the referee said before you do that. Great throw, though. Had to put it in that spot right there. Just missed it. Did I was you know not that? expecting to see the Unicorn of Madden out of either of these guys. <laughs> the rare punt. Now both of them have yeah. put a boot to it. And now strafing. 
after going three and out the last time he had it, has an opportunity for a return. Jones spins and dropped at the 26-yard line. Now strafing, hopefully, figures out that pressure because on first and second down, got really put behind the chains. Yeah, you know, he just couldn't get any sort of offensive momentum going. They were coming at him from all angles. And, you know, again, we've talked about this at great length over the course of the day with Tom Brady. You just not a lot of mobility there. So if you can get that pressure on him, he's, you can force him into a single stage. First and 10. There he goes. Run, Tom. Brady. Run, Tom. I'm going to go make a sandwich while he gets oh this first gosh. down. So much. And the smile on Schrafing's face. That's a thousand. The smirk says it all. A thousand and ten yards now for his career. <laughs> you play long enough. Get to that point. First of ten. He's a guy that likes to run though in the red zone. Like you know, in the five yard lines. Oh yeah. He likes the sneak. Like he's a tall guy. You see him in person, he walks by you, you're like, gosh, you know, you don't really get a sense of how tall he is until you actually are in his presence. You're like, oh, this is he's kind of a big guy. No wonder he's so effective sneaking the ball. Brady wants a kick. There he is. Oh, he's you got to be careful running with the quarterback. I know he's covering it up. He's turning into John Elway all of a sudden. He's got 17 yards rushing. Here's a third and seven. Right. Yeah, that extra element. But hey, you know what? That's one way to try to take the pressure off. Put that in their mind. You know, you might want to, you're obviously not going to do it every time, but if you have the threat that you're not afraid to tuck it and run it. Sammy's going to throw it into coverage. It's knocked away, and here comes fourth down. Brady 0 for 2. Yeah, it's just a, such a surprise to see, you know, and the defense, you know, you got to tip the caps to both sides. You know, this is, I mean, we, I think, you know, I don't want to speak for you. I thought we'd see a little bit more of an offensive explosion in this game, but man, both these guys are really hunkering down on the defense. Fourth and seven. Quick throw. Oh. He throws it right to Monsta. And here is Jones. Oh, no. Monsta on his horse. Touchdown. He's going to be up 10, pinning the extra point. Wow, huge switch right there. Going for it, as you said. You know, you didn't want it. both guys to put a boot on it. You know, it just seems unnatural to have to punt for a second time in a game, especially in the first half trying to make a play out there, trying to, to generate some offense. And unfortunately, it was offense the other way. So now down two scorer, Strafen. He's a veteran, though. Expecting him to bounce back after that pick six. Got to uh, take this, hopefully a look at this again. This pick six brought to you by Snickers. Yeah, he's just waiting there. Jones just waiting there. Yeah, the perfect defense call right there. Just. You know, I'm not going to say that perhaps it was the shadows or anything like that. Or perhaps you missed them, but and he's just squatting right there, just waiting for that ball to be thrown to him. When you're out for game, when you're hungry, eat a Snickers. And right now, I'll tell you what, Strafen's trying to get back on his game. Yeah, the home team needs to just, you know, again, we've been talking about it a lot. You know, just it's not that big of a deficit. You know, you go out there, you get a score here. Take some clock off, perhaps, you know, close it out, send it to the intermission, a one-score game. That's really what you're playing for at this time. Of course, Monster wearing that 49ers uniform. He's from Tracy, California. Been several times in the in the 49ers Club Championship. We've been out there a few times. Of course, Dwight Clark, near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. A big part of that organization. And uh, trying to represent the Bay Area, coming down here to to Vegas trying to make his mark, and right now looking pretty good with a 10-0 lead. Absolutely, yeah, he's really taken it to him. Got to be very happy. I mean, obviously, you're up 10 points. You got to be happy with that. But yeah, I think that the overall, with the way he's played, it's where he's got to be the most encouraged. A little <laughs> trivia for you. It's not sponsored by anything or anything, but he's from Tracy, California. Do you know a... Where is, wait, where is Tracy located? It's not too far from San Francisco. I'm talking about an easy drive. Part of the Burbs? Yeah, out, out to Tracy. Um, a 49er Hall of Famer. Okay. Hall of Famer for the NFL who, from Tracy, California. Bob St. Clair. No, Ronnie Love. Ah. Let's try that. Yeah, I was able to identify a San Francisco 49ers Hall of Famer. I think that's. I appreciated that part. That's part of the. Partial credit. As Michelle, this is a big drive here 
for Strafe and trailing by 10. It's a third and three. Now we're coming up on the two minute warning, trying to get another playoff. Ball at the 44, can't afford another turnover. Yeah, but he's got to get that first, get beyond the two minute warning and just try to try to milk these last two minutes and then go in again, down one score and then you're back in business. Still has two timeouts, takes it down to the two minute warning and a big third and three. Sonny Michelle, really I was standing. just thinking, gosh, I was like, I saw Sonny Michelle in there in that package. Thought, you know, because it was two down territory, you know, he was gonna have to go for it on fourth down. Why not take a chance running Michelle up the middle? And if that didn't work, then he could regroup and try to pick it up on fourth down. But he's done very good. well on both the 0-1 traps and the inside zones, bases with Sonny Michelle. And it picks up another four yards. So right now it's three or four yards in a cloud of dust for Strafen. Because uh, he feels like the passing game just, he's having zero success in this first half. Yeah, you know, and we, we talked about the other side, but I don't think Strafen really needs to feel too bummed out about the way he's been playing in this game either. You know, he's been playing some solid defense. You know, one bad read, one bad throw has really been the difference so far. But again, he can erase that mistake by getting into the end zone here. So he's still, still pretty much in command of his own destiny. Trailing by 10, Dorsett, Patterson, Gordon off to the right. In the trio. Watch Patterson coming out of the. He's milking this whole oh, clock. And Michelle once again. Going back to Michelle. It's a big truck that's going to lead to the first down at the 27. Being able to run out of the trips, that's a huge advantage because you always got to keep track of where Patterson is on the field and, and Gordon as well. Of course, we got Skimbo and Mike coming up next. That's not the same guy. K Mike. Shortening his name out of respect. And so, Skimbo and K. Mike, the back-to-back -back Seahawks club champion. That'll be our game coming up next. We're trying to find the 16. We still got 13 spots left. Throw no. it up to the end zone. One-handed One -handed grab. grab. And Gronkowski feel free to spike it. Now he'll just lay it down. No Gronk spike. No, no, not when you're down 10 or now down four. You just, you know. Take advantage of it. You get that one-handed grab. It's the second time this afternoon, this morning, whatever. But we've seen Gronkowski, not necessarily for strafing, but out here, you know, with that one-handed, that patented one-handed grab that we've seen throughout the course of his career. My travels through the airport, I went into Brookstone, and there was a uh, Gronk football Bluetooth speaker. And on the, of course, I'll never buy that, but on the box that says, do not spike. Okay, good. And, and I like that. You got it. Nice Listen. touch. That's his brand. It's the spike. And he'll move up to the 34-yard line. 17 ticks left. So Monster once up by 10, now just up by three. We don't know yet who these guys will be playing as they move forward. But they're just trying to get into that round of 16. Can Monster get glitchy here? Bunch to the right. Look, these guys using a lot of play clock. A lot of adjustments between yep. these two guys. A real chess match in this first half. Brady can't get oh. rid of it, nearly picked off. Yeah, just, just put that one in your pocket. Why don't we go to halftime? Or do we get a timeout? Does Strafing call a timeout? No, nah, just fell to the ground. So clock stops with 12 seconds. Oh, it's incomplete, my mistake. The shadows, man, I'm telling you. He almost pulled a Ridley there. I mean, that was, that was Ridley level there. Was it? I guess Second that's Second and 10 at the 34. Yeah, I'll give you one. You always get one. But yeah, I mean, the, the shadows do play, do play tricks, little mind games with you. A lot of the, a lot of the guys that play online, they don't, they don't like this time of day in the stadium. It looks great, but it, it, can, it can play a little bit with you there. Uh, they like the give me a nighttime, give me the give me domed, uh, give me even lighting across the field. Not not this way. A little gamesmanship coming in from strafing here. Of course, he's still trailing. So we got eight seconds. Still a ton of uh, timeouts here. He's not gonna he's not gonna need all three of these timeouts with eight seconds to go. But he's just trying to maybe get in the field goal range here. Here at the 43. Leskowski probably needs 
two to three yards. Yeah, he doesn't to mean To be much. at max range. Of course, you want a little more than that, but Strafe oh. is selling out. Coming into the gap and a big time hit with four seconds remaining. And that'll remove the chance of a field goal. And now you gotta take a shot at the end zone. Yeah, you gotta throw this one deep. Although we did say earlier, you know, the, the Kansas City Chiefs had used this play to, to great success against the Dallas Cowboys where they sent everybody deep and then dumped it off. So maybe send the guys deep, maybe throw it off. Up, up to James White, let him get busy with it. Yeah. Or a lot of players last year would would run the draw play there. Yeah, you know, that that's another option. You catch as well. guys getting in that pass commit, and next thing you know, you get a couple pancakes. Maybe guy breaks a tackle. We're at the half, ten to seven, Monster, up by three. But Strafen's going to get the ball here with an yeah, opportunity to come down, tie this game, or take the lead to start the half. Again, yeah, that's what we were talking about when he was down ten. There was not not time to panic because he was able to get down in between that one score. Look at that play right there, that spin. That's what we love about Cordero Patterson. He's dangerous in the return game. Tall, lanky, elusive, and he'll start to drive at the 33-yard line. The question is, except for that one-handed grab by Gronk, can Strafen get some rhythm in the passing game? it has been a lot of runs by Michelle. But yeah, the running game kind of sets that up, and as long as you're able to move the ball, I think that's what you want to go for. You know, taking it in between the tackles with Sony Michelle has been so effective that it could end up loosening up Something that so, and again, we saw it with the Gronkowski play. When it's time to take a shot, it could be there for him. Of course, Strafen in his career has won over $22,000, looking to add to his totals that he's already got this weekend if he can creep his way into the top 16. But right now, these guys are, you know, what I feel, it's a little bit of a hell game right now. It hasn't gone full, full hell game yet, but it's setting up for an opportunity to go down to the wire, trips to the right. Here on first to 10 at the 45, Brady looking, finding. Has a man, oh. Dorsett lays out at the 32-yard line. There's our guy again, Philip Dorsett, coming in with another clutch grab. Which played his college ball down at Miami. And under four to go at the U. Yeah, Donnie Moore off screen, so gave, me, gave me the U for Philip Dorsett. And there's Michelle. All those guys uh, for yeah, you know, live in Florida, down in Orlando. You got some UCF fans. You got some Seminole fans, some Gators, right. uh, some Hurricanes. So a lot of rivalries inside the office. As you can imagine, unlike our office where it's all USC. <laughs> You've got. I was there for an entire year, man. I know. I, I, I got it's that. It's literally. And that's going to be a touchdown oh, from Gordon. There it is. Didn't know if he broke the plane after the grab. Able to beat the one on gun coverage downfield. And just like that, recorded. Recorded, yeah. That, because was, a, that was a grab. Strafen back to back that good one. plays. So now there it is. Strafen, you know, didn't seem like too long ago. He was down by 10 now. Now in command of this contest. Now it's going to be up to, to making some plays on the defensive side of the ball. Door set now. Coming across the 20 to the 21. Strafen was the Madden 17 Vikings champion. Was a runner up in Madden 18. Mm -hmm. And now trying to make some moves here in Madden 19. Up four. See what he's got. Here for Monsa on this drive. Monsa, the away team, he's in all white. And he'll start his drive from the 21 yard line. He was up 10 to nothing, but he's given up 14 unanswered. Scott Cole and Adam Rank with you. Here on day two of Vegas. Oh, and there's Gronk with another great catch right there at midfield. There he is. You know, I said it earlier in the day that perhaps, actually, I didn't say perhaps, I did say Travis Kelsey has usurped him as the top tight end of the game. But hey, Gronk's available to you. And I won't make the McRib joke again. Don't want to be repeating myself. But, you know, when Gronk's available to you, and it, he shows you why he was at one time the best in the game. Second and five now. Plus territory for Monsta. Coming off the edge, able to pick it up. Rolling to the right, trying I'll to find time. time. He'll throw against oh, his body. Open and can't find Dorsett, and that gets Strafen up talking. 
Brady. That's a tough throw, even on even for even the, for Madden. Even for the best of all time, you're not going to be able to make that throw with any sort of consistency. So third and five now. Ball at the 46, four down territory for Mosta. Quick throw, low throw, and picked up for the first down. Monster just three of eight in the passing game. Yeah, but perfect placement right there to move the sticks. Putting it where only his guy can catch it. Valuable lesson right there for anybody watching, trying to gain some tips on this game. And Patterson will get to the 30. So Strafen, of course, a big Minnesota Vikings fan, but now makes his home in Tacoma, Washington. Oh, he does. Up there in the northwest part of the world. So you got a little Washington versus California battle, Northern California. And we got a third and seven. I, I asked you some famous people from Tracy, California. All right. And I'll give you hints. A famous person from Tacoma, Washington, a singer known for mostly around Christmas time. Bing Crosby. You got it, 100%. One of two. One of two for Adam Rank. Sick. We're going to find a trivia sponsor. That would be amazing. Door set dives to the 11-yard line. You know when I'm calling real games, real, you know, real, I'm not saying it's not a real game. Traditional right. games. Oh, I get what you're saying. Uh, there's a lot more time for our chit-chat. But, but in Madden, dude, it's just bam, 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 bam. It's been a learning process for me as a long-winded individual trying to make. And yeah, this is me trying to be snappy. Hands it off to Patterson. If you can believe that. And it got bottled up. 11 rushes for 60 yards. You got any, uh, after the score, I'll ask you if you got us any uh, fantasy dark horses for, for the upcoming weekend. Are we really going to do that? No. <laughs> That's the one thing I told you I would not do. I mean, Jeff Wilson. I have never. Hey. Jeff Wilson was a nice pickup if you were able to thank him off the way We've known each other for four years, Adam. Yeah. I'll tell you, for the second of 11, as Brady rolls out to the right, he would have dropped it down to James White on the playmaker to the eight yard line. I have never asked you a fantasy question. That's true. That's, accurate. that's, how, that's why we're still friends. That's accurate, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. And it's weird because, you know, you're always in a certain situation where somebody's like, hey, you know, like, hey, dude, who's, who's, uh, how's Jalen Samuels going to do this week? You're like, oh, I think, you know, he's, could see some run, especially if the Steelers get up on the Steelers or if they get up on the Raiders. And, uh, but anyways, yeah, I'll have the white rice, <laughs> black beans, and we, you know, I'll do carne, you know, listen, I'm just trying to order a burrito. I'm just trying to build my own. And it's great, you know, like, I, you know, people don't mean any harm. And that's going to be, oh, it's a, Pick. Yeah, I think it's a pick. McCordy. We didn't with the pick right there. I was there. waiting for the camera spin. Yeah, it usually was a bit that's... awkward. That didn't happen because all the way down in the end zone. That's the giveaway. And that wow. is a huge turnover by Monster. There, game clip recorded. And he hands it off to Sony Michelle, who gets stopped there in the middle for no gain. So. Great turn of events for Strafing yeah, right there. First 10 points of the game, all to Monster. He looked in control. Strafing, to be honest with you, was struggling, especially in the passing oh, game. Oh, yeah, he was But now playing. he's put it together. And at the start of the fourth quarter, put your fours up in the chat, y'all. This is what we all been waiting on. Strafing and Monster. Four-point game, Strafing with the ball. He'll start at the 20-yard line after the interception. And Michelle will go nowhere again. So back-to-back -back runs for no. Yeah, you know what, and, and strafing, you know, like he's kind of just feeling himself. You know, this is this shows you, you know, you're never as far out of it as you think you are, as long as you can continue to just kind of focus in on what you do. And he's played good defense, made the, the proper plays at the right time as and he goes all deep. alone, it's Josh Gordon. He's off to the races, can't get past Jones, but a huge chunk play to the 23-yard line. And again, what we are talking about is when you go back to the run and you're, it seems like you can catch somebody napping if you just are committed to it. The first couple of plays, you thought perhaps he was just trying to chew some clock, play a little bit conservatively, and then he gets the big gainer right there to Josh Gordon. Brady hands it off to Michelle. Michelle breaks a tackle, and now he's knocking on the red zone right at the 20 yard line, second and six. He's used Michelle, he's used Patterson. 
And he's found some success in the passing game. He'll run it again to Michelle. Michelle's got an alleyway. Can he cut oh. back? Jones with another touchdown saving tackle. And look at these two guys all up in the monitor. All that business. That tells you all you need to know. It's fourth quarter time. Yeah, you know what? And this, again, this is a crucial moment as well because just a moment ago, Strafing was, on, was the one who was on the defensive side of this, trying to make that play, turn the momentum back. So let's see what he does now that he's got the ball. Dwayne Allen in there as the second tight end. Wait, really? Along there with he Gronk. Is. He's ran it every time he's gone to a double tight end set. He has run the football. Balance formation and right up the gut with Michelle looking for a zone read. Could not find any gap. And it's going to be second and goal from the six. This is a lot of precious time coming off that clock right now. Yeah, and you got to force the field goal here. You can't, you can't fall down by 10. Not as you're seeing the, the clock dwindling away. You got to wonder, you know, at some point what you need to do to turn the momentum here. Bunch to the right, Gordon to the left. Michelle has been the cowbell. He has carried the load here for Strafen and the Pats. Can Mosta come up with a goal line stand and give himself an opportunity? Moving on and taking it down to one. And that's going to be a huge touchdown by Sony Michelle. That'll make it a two score game. With the extra point, that'll put him up 11. What? <laughs> there we go right there. Yeah, great play call. Strafing's been able to execute the run with great success. And that's where it counts right there, you know? That, that's the way to protect the football. You grind the clock. 21 to answer. What a turnaround. It was a 10-0 game, and it was all monster. I'm telling you, on both offensive and defensively, Strafing started the game three and out as Dorsett oh. makes a move. Oh. Gets tripped up by Dwayne Allen. The former Clemson Tiger saved a touchdown. Oh, that would have been big. That's exactly what you need. You want to turn some, you know, you need to, you need to turn the game around and get the momentum on your, on your side. Special teams is a great way. And even though he didn't get the ball into the end zone, he's there right around midfield. An opportunity to score quickly. Need a quick score before the two minute warning. Yeah, if you get it before the two minute warning, that would be huge. Brady gotta get can't get a sack. That's the last thing you needed. That puts him in a second and 21 hole. All the momentum you just had with the, with the return, getting out near midfield. Now you're back at the 37 yard line. Yeah, because you also need to be thinking too, you know, you could have been playing the game where you, get down kick a three. you get the three, and if you do that before the two minute warning, then you turn it around. Brady. Oh. The defensive pressure now and straight. Cordell in. Patterson in there at the running back, not able to pick up the pressure. And yeah. it's third and 27, and there's the two minute warning. And I'm saying this, I obviously, I don't know the, I'm not as hype on the, on its blocking rating here, but I think the personnel grouping should have been a little bit different if you're gonna be asking your, your running back to stay in and block. Just received word that we're gonna hear from Sirius Mo nice. after the conclusion of this ball Oh, game. another one, three, three sacks. Strafen dialing up the pressure here at the end of the ball game. And now it's, he had a return pass midfield and now it's fourth and 39. So not going for the field goal here? You can, hey, you can go for the field goal at any point. Probably you, not going to work. Your percentage just gets a lot less. Even for Goskowski, this might be a little bit too much. Brady on fourth and 39. What do you got for Gotta this play? Let it Throws go. it up. And oh. Almost caught by Gordon. Monster still with three timeouts. If you can hold yeah. him to a field goal, it's still a two-score game. A first down would probably Clinch this one for sure as Strafen looking real good to being in that final six team. I love your optimism. If he does hold, no, if he does, you're absolutely right. He's He's got a chance. He's not mathematically eliminated, but with the way he's been running the football, and don't, I need these fantasy points. And that'll do it.
They're going to go double G right there. GG's. So big win for Strafen and Dot City Gaming. Strafen's yeah, going to 